Hi, I found a recent article that is predicting that a handful of elite universities will soon monopolize higher education. Welcome to Innovation and Ideas. I'm Kim Snyder from Online Marketing Box. And I love this article because it really highlights four areas that I like to focus on. It is talking about collaboration. It's talking about an outdated industry, talking about um, upstream, downstream, and it's talking about an additional revenue stream. So let me highlight those areas a little bit more. So number one is an outdated industry. I have felt for a while that university systems are outdated. They're not in touch with the people that they need to serve, which is not only the students, but the businesses or organizations that need to hire them. So if there's a nonprofit that's looking for somebody with a certain skill, they just haven't kept up with the times for providing that talent. Also, I don't feel that they have um, moved ahead and they're being forced to in a, a current pandemic that we are, but about delivering and offering you know, online solutions that are interesting um, and making sure that it's, again, relevant information, but doing it, delivering it in a medium or mode that is more current. And you know, not everybody has to travel to the university anymore, which you know, you've got people that aren't commuting for work, so why can't universities have you know, not commuting to university. So that's one area. Second one I like is because it's collaboration and it is it is pulling together, you know, the organizations and the companies are working with the universities to start doing collaboration and start, you know, probably working on the curriculum, um, probably helping them be more profitable. So like that idea. The third one is upstream and downstream. And um, it is looking at, you know, from an organization standpoint, if they're not getting the talent that they want, then why not start building that talent pipeline and why not either partner or purchase a university so that they can educate people and then they can actually go ahead and pull from that talent pool um, who they they want for their organization. This is happening um, in some of the trades as well, the trades, plumbing, electrical, whatever. I had heard this idea a while ago that Gary Vee had mentioned to a plumber that was having a hard time to hire people to work for him. And because people are not going into the trades to learn that, there's a shortage. And so Gary Vee had told him, why don't you create a plumbing school? And again, you can take from those folks that you want to have your business, but you're also helping the others. I like that idea as well because it's another revenue stream for that plumber. So it is talking about, you know, downstream, upstream, helping that pi talent pipeline. And as a business um, here in Nevada, they had done a study in 2019 um, where they talked about the top issues for small business owners, and it was either the top three or top five. It was talent. So this is an issue that is not only with big, you know, big business Fortune 100 or 500. It's also with medium and small size business. There is a shortage of talent out there, and what better place to go fix it than the education realm where they're supposed to be getting um, trained to go move forward. So love this example. Could you create your own talent pipeline? Is there something that you could educate? Um, and maybe it's not the talent. Maybe it's the suppliers. Maybe it's the vendors. Maybe it's some partners. Could you provide education for them so that you create another revenue stream so that you're actually helping your industry and then you have the ability to train them how you like and then you can pluck them um, from that pool of people and use them. I would love to hear your comments below. Uh, any questions, go to onlinemarketingthebox.com slash innovate.